Scientists working in and around Yellowstone National Park are trying to answer a big question about the mammoth supervolcano sitting under the tourist attraction. Researchers from Arizona State University analyzed minerals in fossilized ash from the most recent magma eruption. Changes in the temperature in composition that had previously taken centuries to form were now happening in the span of decades. The discovery, which was presented at a recent volcanology conference, comes on top of a 2011 study that found that ground above the magma reservoir in Yellowstone had bulged about 10 inches in seven years. It's an extraordinary uplift because it covers such a large area and that the rates are so high, the University of Utah's Bob Smith, an expert in Yellowstone volcanism, told the magazine at the time. Features of the park, such as the Old Faithful Geyser and the Grand Prismatic Spring that attract visitors from around the world, are signs of a huge magma reservoir rumbling below. About 630,000 years ago, National Geographic reported, a powerful eruption shook the region and created the Yellowstone Caldera, a bowl 40 miles wide that forms much of the park. Perhaps ominously, according to the ZME Sciences website, that previous eruptions occurred in about the same time frame before that 1.3 million years ago, meaning that the system might be ready for another explosion and soon. The researchers, the New York Times reported, have determined that the supervolcano has the ability to spew more than 1,000 cubic kilometers of rock and ash, 2,500 times more material than erupted from Mount St. Helens in 1980, an event that could blanket most of the United States in ash and possibly plunge the earth into a volcanic winter. The theory of a much shorter timeline than expected was developed by Hanan Shamlo, a graduate student at Arizona State and several colleagues who spent weeks at Yellowstone Lava Creek Tuff, a fossilized ash deposit from its last super eruption. Now, according to the Times, Shamlu later analyzed crystals from the team's dig that recorded changes in temperatures, pressure, and water content beneath the volcano, much like a set of tree rings. We expected that there might be processes happening over thousands of years preceding the eruption. Chrissy Till, a geologist at Arizona State, who is Shamlu's dissertation advisor told the paper. Instead, the crystals reveal an increase in temperature and a change in composition that had happened more quickly than they previously thought. The pair also presented an earlier version of their study at a 2016 meeting of the American Geophysical Union. It's shocking how little time is required to take a volcanic system from being quiet and sitting there to the edge of an eruption, Shamlu told the Times, cautioning that more research is necessary before definite conclusions can be drawn. So so long story short, they're saying that the Yellowstone supervolcano may blow sooner than anyone previously thought it would. What do you think? Are we getting close to a supervolcano eruption at Yellowstone National Park? Leave your comments below this video. Thanks for watching.